Hello and welcome to another Gemini Rogues video. This is the machine. This is a mercenary tank. Killer 05 earned it and he earned it for free because he put lots of time, effort, energy and botheredness into this, didn't you? Too much. Yeah, Too so much. So we've been sitting on this for a while, but we've finally got round to doing it. We've finally been bothered to finish off the forced you to make mercenary video, video, reviews. Yeah. Everybody else is doing them, we just thought we'd tag along. So the machine tank, what is it? It's a Chieftain turret Ooh. and it's got a Czechoslovakian medium tank gun inside it, the T5051 gun, so it's got a clip on it and yeah. it's got an AMX 50B hull. Hull. So we've got armour and we ain't got armour. If we stay all down, we've got a fair bit, but we've still got weak spots, but we've got a nice potent clip tank. So let's have a look at it. There's that M50 T1 engine, 1,200 brake horsepower, which gives it a rather impressive power to weight ratio of over 20, so this thing's not slouchy. Oh, 20. There's a 100mm AK1 gun, 7.27 rounds per minute, 248 pen. It's not brilliant for a tier 10 heavy, but it's, it's workable with 310 on the heat rounds, both giving you 320, you get a four shot clip with a 1.5 second into shot reload. So you can get that thing empty quite quick. Accuracy is pretty good as well, 2.2. On the aim time, uh, there's that all on the MX 50B. We all know on mobile, them things are 38 on the traverse on that, so this thing swings around and is mobile. The Chieftain turret, 250 mm frontal armor, is pretty good. Only problem, you got that little cupola up top, which is not the easiest thing to it, especially at a distance, but it can be pen, so you're not impenetrable even when you're all down. But the Chieftain does come with a 390 meter view range, which is absolutely fantastic. 32 traverse on its turret as well, which is livable weight and then a 750 meter signal range. And the Metal Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> that is the name of your, of your crew. It's a, oh, is that the crew? Uh, metal metal dragon. dragon. And he comes with the repairs and the eagle eye skills. You know, so I've got a few more on there now. Oh, we'll cool. be sitting on this for a bit. So I'll just look at the loadout. I don't know why I bother taking any HE because I never really yeah. fire any. So we'll have a look at the statistics of the machine, what we've got. <laughs> It points 2,100. Statistics. It's not blessed when it comes to it points uh, no. compared to the other tier tens you've got at this level. Uh, there's that engine that's I mentioned that 20 power to 67 kilometers an hour top speed. What's it got? It points 2,100. Oh, okay, sorry, I was looking. It's okay, but it's not up there with E100s and Chieftains and, yeah. and that. This but you got mobility. Yeah, you can't yeah. knock it. And there's that gun, fantastic gun, 28.5 second reload. So it's not a quick clip reload, not up there with the T57s, but it's. It's workable with. Yeah. But what it has got is 1.5 into shot clip, which is fantastic. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. That is awesome. 10 degrees of gun depression as well. And like I said, the accuracy is not bad at 0.35. Yeah. Traverse, 38 degrees. I'm not going to go into no. <laughs> terrain resistance no. and what they mean. No. You're not really going to know. There's that Chieftain turret. 390. 390 meter view range. So you're not blind. No. At all. It's not one of these heavy tanks that sits there and gets out spotted by everything. You've got just as much chance of spotting them as they have you. 750 meters signal, I'm not going to get too hung up on that. You can notice as well about the ammo. 1,400 meters per second on a standard round velocity on this. Uh, okay. That is fantastic. So yeah. As soon as you pull trigger, it's what you aim at pretty much. But then it drops away on your heat rounds and you need to cheat in 900. And you do notice that difference. I mean, that's 500 meters a second difference from one shell to another. Do you just fire standard rounds in this then? You can, but like I said, 248 sometimes isn't enough to do what you need to do. Uh, okay. Uh, but okay. they do, are workable way. You see yeah. that crew there? There he is, old Metal Dragon. I say he's got a few more dragon. perks on him now than when he started. So we'll have a look Ooh, at the armour, which is what I was really man. interested in. And we're going to see that that is not impervious, especially that left-hand side. It's not front pervious, of the turret, Because we're going to get smashed in the video we're going to see. But people think the AMX 50B hull is pretty easy to pen. Yeah. No. Nah. It's got a red <laughs> nah. bit on there, isn't yeah, it? You can't just snap a shot off and expect to pen a machine. You'll be surprised how many times you bounce off the hill thinking, ah, oh, the hell, that's a French heavy tackle. Yeah. They're like paper. Yeah, no. not not this. No. And you can see that Capola on top will come to that in a second. So there's them weak cheeks. They are another. If he's side weak scraping, cheeks. weak cheeks. It gets them into them. Easily penned. Not a problem at all. So yeah. remember where they are. They're another nice spot to pick out if he's yeah. if he's like showing off his bottom oh, half of his okay. tank and not all down. Yeah. You can see again top of the turret is a bit of a weak spot, but you try getting shots down onto that. I'm not too worried about it. You can get yet. shots in there. They're not going to count off no. the time. Okay. There's where you need to be shooting if you're shooting at the all just under the turret, which means you've got to be very careful when you go all down that you don't show a little bit too much up. Yeah. It is angled as I'm showing you there, but it's not thick, only 100 mil. 
And you see the turret starts building up in layers now, so uh -huh. this thing is pretty okay. perfect. So there's that left hand side of the turret, which can be penned, only 150 mil, and that's, wow, that's look just at easy to hit that turret. It's not yeah. angled, it's not sloped as far back as the left hand yeah. side of the turret. You can pen the left hand, well, right hand side of the turret, where you're looking at yeah. on the turret, but a yeah. little bit more thickness there. You can see there's that hole, and it's sloped. It's not yeah. a guaranteed pen if you just snap a shot off at the other. Yeah, I can see it. And you can see it's been a problem. I mean, this That's is one rare, thing this man. has got as a clip Ooh, tank at tier 10 with its armour competitive. It's T57, either yeah. side of the gun man that you're penning it, no worries. The uh, AMX 50B, same again, shooting mid turret, most of the time you've got to pen it. So as clip yeah. tanks go, this is probably the most armoured one you got at tier Ooh, 10. Oh, okay. Out of the Evis. Out the Evis. And you can see there it all built up as one. That there's mm. that roof of the turret is a bit of a weak spot. Them cheeks, definitely weak on the ult. And if not, just under the turret, if you can't get into them. Capola's always handy, because he's got to show that at some point. It's the first thing you're going to see if he's coming the over Back rail. end, man. That's yeah. There's nothing there, is <laughs> there? AT Central on oh, back end. Absolutely nothing. So we'll go straight into the replay. And it doesn't start very well. Um, Why? Sheridan here. Here you go, look, you got shot in. It's um, good. We'll talk about more about that damage eclipse. clip. You said 320, so you're doing just under 13 room damage a clip. Yeah. Compare that to like the 600 you're doing in the T57, probably the same in the AMX 50B. Alpha damage wise, you're not okay. kicking that much out. Yeah. And as well as that, the T57 is going to be reloaded before you as well. Wow. So, what you've got on him is a little bit more mobility, and yeah. you've also got a little bit more armor. That's okay. what you've got to use if you come up against a T57. Yeah. He's going to blow holes in you, he's got more pen, he's got more damage, and oh, he's going to be reloaded quicker. Okay. You always need to remember that. AMX 50B, again, you've got no armor. So, you should be able to fight toe to toe. He's going to have to look for weak spots, and you've also got the advantage of an far quicker into clip shot. Okay. So you're going to be able to empty your clip and get out of there before you've probably got two or three off. What about your tank destroyers with clips? They're different. You've got your Fosh, your French. That thing's pretty pretty tasty as well as being yeah. well armed. You have to look for weak spots on him. Your waffle. We all know how deadly a waffle is. Six yeah. or four clip shot which very, is fitting on it. Very it's versatile, yeah. man. It, but they play a different role, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was just because asking. These are more of a front running, get in there Brawler. and get mixed out. Yeah. yeah. You've got a yeah. bit more armour to play with. Are you saying how how techniques yeah, should be played? Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is completely different. Yeah. It's, you mean this full full off down there, some bigger boys down there. What are you there. doing here though? Because you're just um, hanging back. And this is where you can look at that into shot clip. It's okay. bang, it's bang, it's bang, and you finish ah, him you off. ninja'd him. So we've got eight shots in there already. Yeah. The machine, I'm not going to say this is what? easy to play. Okay. Yeah, I, I liken it to the AMX 50B, which in one player's hands can be an absolute terror and a nightmare yeah. and in another player's hands can just be a sitting duck that's dead within <laughs> about very, two minutes. Yeah, but well, it, it's, it's very, it's risk and reward tank I find the AMX 50B. Yeah. How did he get that in? I think, well that's what I talked about, that left hand side yeah. of the turret, I'm just trying to show it there. Yeah. You can pen it, I'm surprised he penned it from there, at that angle, yeah, 150, 150 mil and I'm like shooting up and the yeah. turret's actually sloped as well, but we'll get his revenge yeah. here, look, pop, 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 finish him off. Yeah, uh, we're going to get nice. a bit of grief here off the said stain crew in front of us. Stain? <laughs> yeah, the stain in the T110E3 who seems to want to go plowing into the middle of four tanks and think I can save him. You can't? I can't. Well, like you reload? Him. Tell him you're reloading. Uh, I'm reloading now, but he's not set off yet. So he's not I'm set just off backing yet. up. That's one thing you find yourself doing in this. We, I mean, we've got vents, we're running vents, got quite a yeah. skilled crew in it, but you can't fit a gun rammer on it because mm. it's a clip tank, as yeah, we know. As so we know. you're not going to get your reload down much quicker. But oh, he's on his mission, like he's going. Yeah, he's going. It's a bit insane, this reload, to be fair. But 28 seconds seems like a lot. And it is a lot. Sometimes it feels like it's an age before it's reloaded. Yeah. And um, the pen's not always the best on the gun. You sometimes yeah. struggle with IS-7 lower plates. I've had a lot of trouble with, with standard rounds going in. Wow. From over distance, or yeah. if he's got any slight angle on, they can struggle to go through. Yeah. And then you, if you find heat rounds, you've then got to worry about oh, okay. tracks yeah. absorbing shots yeah. and spaced armor and stuff, so forth, yeah. so forth. So the gun's okay, the in shot clip's okay. Sometimes I've seen a lot of players who just fire premium rounds in the machine. Oh, okay. just, that's all they load. Uh, why? Don't load because of the penetration 310 oh, mil, which is quite high. Yeah. I mean, we're still reloading this, but I'm trying to say, like, it seems flashing at the bottom. We're still reloading, we're still yeah. reloading. And the stain has just gone in there and got surrounded by like three or four loading. tanks. I'm still reloading. I'm just loading now. I'm still waiting for it now. It's loaded, and I can let it rip. Yeah. But it's like ping it mapping now. What do we want to do? I've got 28 second reload. That stain got cleaned up, didn't it? It's still <laughs> ping it map on me. I mean, the medium tank would have been more benefit to him. We ran off completely. So I mean, we're yeah, going to have to do it's the not same your now. Fault. You can't fight toe to toe with a machine. It's just not 
possible. That's not, with, same, not with a 28 second relay. That's relay-like. the same with any clip tape. Yeah, no. exactly. So you just won't put yourself in a situation like he's put himself in there, mm. like T123. You yeah. can't go balls in in this tank. The only time you can go balls in is if you've got one or two at most tanks are on low elf and you know you're going to finish them off yes you can't leave anybody alive although they'll just rinse you you saw the army you've got on your back yeah you've got <laughs> you're nothing you're going to say cheat hell out of yeah. your rear end and that goes for the artillery as well if you get an artillery round on top of you you're gone hey, we're near back yeah. here you're uh, gone, another you? drawback is i don't know how because we saw in the, the beginning yeah. the ammo racks are centrally positioned on the tank in yeah. the middle of the hull yeah. But it seems to me they get shot every they get single time. A lot, do they? From the side, from oh, the front, meal. it always seems to find its way into that ammo rack. And they're quite, if you had to position them, I'd have put them there myself. It's like yeah. the centre of the tank. It's yeah. the furthest you can get away from it, possibly being shot from any, but it seems to suffer from ammo rack. Do you, so like another, do you like the machine? I do like the machine, yeah, but it's, like I say, it's one of them I've seen players who are just awesome in it, and then there's some that moan about it. Yeah. But, uh, that's why I say it's most like the AMX 50B, where if you know what you're doing in AMX 50B, yeah. that is an absolute animal or a tier 10 heavy. If you don't, it can be like the biggest piece of shit that's <laughs> on the game. You, has it got a high skill ceiling? Yeah, but y this gives you a little bit of a leeway, because mm. in the AMX 50B, you haven't got much armour to play with. This, if you can use your 10 degrees of gun depression, you can get yeah. that clip entered quick. Yeah and get back out of there before someone's had a chance to get a second shot off. So you can go yeah. four shots to one, exactly. I mean, 1.5 seconds between shots. It's why fantastic. do you keep comparing it to the MX 50B? Tell We've me got why. the all, and that is a tier 10 clip tank. Okay. The, the heavy tanks, you, like I said, T57 and the MX 50 that's one I'm comparing it to most. Yeah. It's, that's what your play style is going to be most likened to. Um, yeah. I'd play it more like the T57 out of the two in okay. play style because the MX 50B does a lot more damage but you've really got to pick your fight with an MX 50B okay. and know where to be when yeah. you when have a back out plan of where to run to like now we're just sat down here wondering what we're doing we're just reloading reloading we're just yeah. reloading and then we're just it. trying to work his angles use that gun depression try and get yeah. shots in from side I mean we've got standard yeah. round so we've only got 243 try and get some that's a side. nice place yeah, we've got yeah. just enough to nice. track him on that ridge Perfect. and then we're finishing nice. off. So pop pop done Yeah. again you go back um, in a way, it makes you a little bit arty safe We how fast it reaches oh, a clip. Yeah, yeah, in the definitely. fact that you pop out, bam, yeah. bam, 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 bang, in spaces like six seconds, you've emptied yeah. the clip, then you run off and reload for 28. You drop off that map, Yeah. Um, arty looks at somebody else, finds somebody else he wants to pick yeah. on, you need to and you're forgot off. about. Yeah. That's where you, well, don't just, like, <laughs> if you drop back, sit there while no, you're reloading, no, you while, you're, while you're still spotted, you have yeah. to keep moving about, basically. There's yeah. no artillery to worry about now, they're already dead in this game. And the M103 just backs out just in time for us, and his friend tracks him, which was nice for him, and we just finish him off. Uh, I didn't notice the M60 at the bottom there. No. We could have just, we've got one yeah. shot left in this, this clip there, but we've gone back and reloaded. We're struggling a bit on it. Points were laxy days with him at the start of the game, as per my style. Uh, yeah, well, you need to use them anyway. Yeah, but we've got, we've got five kills at this point, it's two left. Yeah. Um, what I'm trying to do is trying to come at these. It's a machine that's across there, and the M60 we've just seen as well that are over there. So yeah. we've got to wait up. M60 is going to take two shots to kill me. Machine, two shots to kill me. I'm more worried about the machine than I am the M60 because that machine is going to kill me about mm. three seconds. So yeah. I've got to try and work angles now or wait or pick my moment where I can work the map to my best of my advantage. Yeah. So we're just testing water here, see where we are. There's that machine. 758 points. I'm going to have to shoot him three times. Yeah. So. But you've reloaded, aren't you? Yeah. Right. So I've got four in, in yeah. the clip. So I know I've got. Everyone's got to go in. If I use one on the M60 or two yeah. on the M60, I'm not going to be able to kill the machine. So you've got to keep doing that math in your head. Are they? I, I work off of 1,200. I know it's just 320 shot, which technically should be 1,280. Yeah. But just rolling. If you stick with a 1,200, yeah. it's easier no. to figure out. That's I, what I'm always, going to be doing. I, I always work on the minimum, especially yeah. in the Italian tier eight. So one. we're just trying to work his angles best mm. we can. We can yeah. use this terrain here, this bank, to try and cover ourselves from the M60 and try and highlight the machine to see where he is as well. So. You can see, I'm not really worried about the machine at this point. I've got this bit of terrain between here and bottomed out of it. Yeah, it did. Kind of <laughs> so we're just trying, there's that 10 degrees of gun depression. Oh, yes. Bop. So now we've got all three shots. I'm just thinking, he's still going to be able to smash me here, yeah. the machine. He's not really going to struggle. So I've got to yeah. wait for him. He's been shooting. I know he's emptied some of his clip now. He's in. One into him, two into him, and the last one. Bop. Finished nice. him off. So it's all about yeah. timing with your clip. Yeah. You can't just rush in and you've got to pick your angle, you come out, your escape plan, you've got to wait all up. That's why I yeah. say there's a little bit more eye skills here yeah. than you normally get from a normal tank. Yeah. Where you can just pop out, take a shot and get back down and rely um, on... Round, round it up for us then. Round so, it machine, up. is it worth the grind? Yes. 
Yes. It's, it's a very good tank, very, well, you must have come up against them. They can decimate yeah, the team. Yeah, I've seen some. Really, I mean, Silver, it's, not, it's just a standard tra tank, so it's 100% crew training, yeah. Silver Earner and stuff like yeah. that. But we can say there's 7,000 damage, seven kills. This thing is, it does this on a regular occasion. And it is a quite nice, uh, look like, is it fun to play? Yeah. It is fun but to play. But it makes you think as well. You've got It's a thinking man's tank, I like to call oh, it. Well, that's, I, that's what I say for most clip ones. To be I call that a high skill scene yeah. tank then, really. So that's about it then. Into, oh, let's, go, let's have a look what you did. Show your so boating. You didn't really show the damage up as we watched it there. So we've yeah. put four shots into that show. There. You can see there, we just did over 1,200, but they're under. But I know that's probably yeah, a killing like shot. Yeah, you say, your four shots. So it's, it's kind of around that area when yeah. you have to see a clip. Yeah, I think, you'd, like you say, work on the minimum. And you're safe then, aren't you? Because you you're not disappointed when you do it. that Conqueror one, I say three shots from 963, mm. which is pretty much bomb on. Like, yeah. We're doing 321 a shot, so it's, yeah. it's, it's near enough about there, but it's a good tank. Anyway, Killers 05, that's it. Let's call that machine done and dusted. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and later.